Hi everyone, it's Christy Gray, and today I want to talk about what has been a controversial topic, at least in our office, and that is buyer-broker agreements. A buyer-broker agreement is an agreement that a buyer's agent can ask a prospective home buyer to sign before, um, before the agent will begin to work with the buyer. In California, these are not required, um, but nevertheless, many agents use them, and it's an issue that I see both sides on, um, whether they are a great idea or a terrible idea. So here are my thoughts on the pros and cons of having a prospective client sign a buyer-broker agreement. The pros, um, the pros are that if a buyer ends up buying a property and they do sign with you, you are guaranteed your commission. So that's great. It protects the agent. Um, and the person, the buyer is not required to buy a property if they sign this agreement. But if they do end up buying one, the agent will get their commission. Um, if a prospective buyer signs a buyer broker agreement, it lets the agent know that they will be loyal to them, that they are serious about looking, and that it is a good idea for the agent to devote time and resources to helping this client. So those are all good things. Um, it will potentially and hopefully um, help the buyer know that they shouldn't be asking other realtors to show them houses or write offers because they have signed an agreement with a particular agent. The cons um, of signing a buyer broker agreement the first is that sliding this piece of paper in front of them when you're just getting to know them can be a turnoff and they might not be willing to sign it even if they are serious home buyers. They just, you know, they, um, it's too much, it's too scary. They're not quite ready to put the pen to paper for any type of agreement yet. So that is um, a serious con. If you're going to lose a potential client over this non-mandated, non-required contract, and a second con I see is um, I want buyers personally to work with me who want to work with me, who think that I have their best interest at heart and that I'm working really hard to find them a home. I don't want them to be working with me because they feel stuck with me or because they signed an agreement. If they want to leave, I would rather them work with someone who, you know, they think is a better fit as an agent. So, um... I see both sides to this, and I would love to get some other realtors or even um, clients, uh, buyers' opinions on whether they are and are not comfortable using buyer-broker agreements and just, just what um, their history has been with them and what the results have been. So those are my two cents. As you can see, I'm still split on this topic, but I would love some feedback and to hear what other people are doing and what their thoughts are. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.